Hello everyone, a very happy new year to all. Welcome to my channel. I, Kumal Kavar Shekhawar, upload videos on how to do data analysis using various softwares like SPSS, eViews, Stata and R. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and learn data analysis in the most convenient way possible. So in this video, I shall be discussing how to arrange a cross-sectional data in Excel and how to import the same file in eViews. So let's get started. So as you all know, if you are following my videos regularly, I have already discussed and explained in one of my previous videos that how to arrange a panel data in Excel and how to arrange time series data. Similarly, in this video, I am going to explain how you can arrange a cross-sectional data in eViews. So there are three types of data that is time series, cross-sectional and panel. So this video will be focused on how to arrange cross-sectional data in eViews, right? So first of all, Cross-sectional data refers to the observations of different individuals at a given time, wherein each observation relates to a different individual. Okay, so cross-sectional data deals with only a particular period of time, right? So let's take an example. Suppose uh, you want to study the effect of exports, consumption, investment on GDP, of various countries in the year 2022, right? So you are dealing with only a given time period, unlike panel data and time series data. So the example that I quoted can be written as that GDP is a function of exports, consumption, investment, right? So you want to study the effect of these three, exports, consumption, and investment on the GDP of let's say 20 sample countries right in the year 2022 okay so the same example can be written in the form of regression equation as follows so GDP is a function of or GDP is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 exports plus beta 2 consumption plus beta 3 investment and you here captures the randomness right so if you want to estimate the effect of these independent variables you need to estimate these regression coefficients which are the betas over here that is beta naught beta one beta two and beta three right so for that you need to arrange your data file accordingly since you are dealing with a particular time period so this is a cross-sectional data so to arrange the cross-sectional data, you need to open your Excel and in your new Excel file. So in the very first column, you need to mention your individual units. So in my example, the individual units were a sample of 20 countries, right? So in the very first column, you need to mention the individual units. So the first row, will indicate the name of the variable, okay? So here in the first row, I have mentioned country and in the first column, I have mentioned the individual units, which are 20 countries, right? In the second column, you need to mention your dependent variable. So gross domestic product GDP is my dependent variable and this entire information, this is the GDP for these 20 countries, right? And afterwards, in the respective columns, you need to mention all your independent variables. So here, exports, consumption, and investment are the independent variables, right? So this entire information, this data is regarding the exports of these 20 countries. Similarly, this is the data for consumption for these 20 countries. And this is the data for investment for these 20 countries, right? 
unlike panel data and time series data there is no separate column or information regarding the time period because this entire information this entire data relates to the year 2022 right so there is no separate column for time period or there is no need to mention the time period right now if you need to import this excel file in eview so for that you need to first open your software so this is eview software the above panel shows the command box and here you can see the option for file so you need to click on file and then click on open and if you are importing an excel file then you need to select foreign data is work file right afterwards you need to browse your file select your file and then click on open all right now here a new dialog box will appear where in this shows your data file and you need to click on next and then you can click on next okay so here you can see this the basic structure of this data set is it is undated with id series so it is not a dated data right so we are selecting undated with id series right and you can rename your series if you want to and then click on finish okay so here you can see you have imported your data file in e views so if you want to have a look on the data you can select all your variables so here uh, select your dependent variable and using the control key select the independent variables and open these variables as group right so you can see over here the similar information that you created in the excel file you can see this in e views so the first column shows your individual units which are the countries and rest column shows here the first one is about the dependent variable gdp and the next ones are the variables which shows the information about the independent variables that is exports consumption and investment right so you have successfully imported your cross sectional data file in e views and since now you know how to arrange your cross sectional data in excel file you can run any kind of regression analysis and you can estimate models based upon the information in e views right so in the upcoming videos i shall be dealing with the cross sectional data wherein i shall be uploading videos on how to do regression analysis using cross sectional data what are the models that you can run or employ on cross sectional data and how to deal with cross sectional data how to estimate the regression coefficients how to estimate the regression elasticities all these uh, videos on all these methods and models shall be uploaded in coming videos so keep following the video thanks for watching have a good day